Good evening, folks. I'm going to call a meeting to order here at uh, One Academy Street, uh, Tuesday, May 4th at 7 p.m. Uh, public access to this meeting by Zoom only. Anyone desiring to participate and listen in on this meeting by cell or landline uh, charges may apply. You should dial 1-646-558-8656. And enter the meeting uh, ID number, which is 9860417-2686. When prompted, announce the name, join the online and computer by clicking the Zoom link. Also, uh, please state your name prior to speaking to meeting participants who who are, participants will know who's speaking. Note that this meeting is being recorded and when you are unmuted. Every sound in the range of your microphone can be heard by Zoom and participants. The select board meeting agenda is also posted on the town website. Uh, I call the, the first item on the agenda is Pledge of Allegiance. Please call Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under review, I just added uh, under 8A, uh, Northwest Access TV. I get a question on that. I think that's all I got. Mark, you got anything to add? No additions. Elizabeth? No, thank you. Um, two things I'd like to give an update uh, from the REC, and I would also like to offer an update from the Fourth Street Steering Committee. Okay. Uh, old business, new business. What do you want to put it under? Um, rec would be no. new. Yes. Fourth Street can be old. Rec. All right. And then, so we got D, rec, and then old business to so have uh, F. And what was that? Fourth Street? Fourth Street Steering Committee. Okay. Anything else? No, thank you. Pearl, anything? No. Kathy? Thank you. David, anything on the agenda? No. no. All right. Okay. Here, motion approved April 20th regular select board meeting by Zoom. Minutes? I'll move. All right. I'll second that. Second. second. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Public comment. Anybody got anything to discuss that's not on the agenda? Raise your little mute hand, your little hand um, yeah. underneath your microphone. Or wave your hand, whatever you can do. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, I guess you're good. Law enforcement. So, Chief Still. His report is on your desk. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Yeah. So, is a uh, for the month of uh, April, we responded. Uh, uh, I'm trying to flip my page here. For 107 calls in the town, uh, with uh, varying types of calls that are pretty uh, consistent with what we've been doing uh, within the town. During the same time frame. We uh, stopped motor vehicles issuing uh, 10 warnings uh, for motor vehicle infractions. We also stopped another six vehicles resulting in uh, traffic tickets. Uh, the total amount of fines for those six tickets was uh, $849.50. Those uh, those are the just quick and easy stats for for us. Uh, and another side note, uh, met with uh, Mark today uh, in regards to complaints that the town had been receiving. Uh, also, those are similar complaints that we have been receiving of uh, ATV use on uh, the Swanton end of the the rail trail. And uh, we 
we collaborated on some potential things that we can do to uh, deal with the ATV use there, which will also have an impact on ATV use around uh, both the town roads and the village roads. Uh, in what we're looking at is doing some coordinated uh, enforcement on foot and using uh, either uh, ATVs or electric vehicles or uh, other vehicles on the rail trail to kind of bottleneck it up so that we can you know safely identify the the riders and, and deal with that. One of the other things that I want to point out is is that we did have uh, conversations when we first started getting complaints after that trail had been upgraded with uh, other fellow law enforcement partners being primarily Vermont Fish and Game who uh, have ATVs and do uh, types of those types of patrols when they when they are able to. And in the, the month of April, uh, Fish and Wildlife was able to apprehend and ticket uh, four uh, individuals for riding on the Swanton section of the trail. Uh, I did not look at the stats for what they were able to get in the, the Highgate end of the trail, but on the Swanton end of the trail, they were able to, to get four people. Um, that, that one enforcement effort that they have done really has not changed the behavior on that trail. Uh, that trail had been so widely used over the last you know, decade by uh, four wheelers that, and ATVs that it's, it's, it's gonna take a, a coordinated effort uh, from the community to change the behavior. And I think we uh, mapped out a plan that you'll see going forward, which I will make a drastic reduction in the use of ATVs on that trail and hopefully in our community uh, in a in a manner that is unsafe. You know, we're not going to completely stop it, but if we can make sure that it is safe for the the use of the people that want to use the trail for walking, uh, that's what our goal is going to be. If I may add to that, um, we had some great discussion, uh, great thinking, and we just want to make sure that people understand it's not just a town problem; it's a community problem, and it will take a collaborated effort. If we do are out and about, and we see these four wheelers and ATVs on the trails. If you can snap a picture of these vehicles or if they're out on the roads, uh, get a picture and forward it, uh, we can start identifying and seeing who they are. That will certainly help us. Uh, you know, uh, it's not just our problem, it's not a new problem. If we can't chase them down, it's probably not the right thing to do. But if we can get pictures and start from there as well, that, that'll help curb it, uh, but it's not going to be an overnight fix up for sure. So. We had, we had a great conversation today with Chief and some of the guys. So it was, it was a great first step. That's for sure. Yeah. We called a few times when they've been zipping yep. and down yep. in the street. Yes. Yeah. You got one that's very close by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does your plan contain anything in it that would offer some alternative to that trail for people that? use these uh, type of vehicles for recreational purposes? I didn't hear the first part of your question, sorry. I said, well, you know, you're talking about a long range plan to deal with this, but is, is there gonna be some kind of alternative offered? Uh, possibly, you know, because people do use these things and if we try everything down, what's gonna happen? Alternative plans and, and locations for the ATVs is just definitely got to be on a discussion block because there's a lot of them within our community and there's a lot of people that want to ride them rec recreationally in a very safe and constructive manner. And we we have to look as and that's why uh, I told Mark and Mark and I agreed is this is a community issue and that you know without another alternative for these ATVs, it's going to be almost impossible for us to 100% enforce this because they're going to want to ride, and I under, you know, understand that um, from a, a recreational standpoint, is you know we're looking at you know healthy communities, walking, biking, but recreationally, you know, there's a, another whole sect of the population that we must still be able to address as a community so that they have safe alternative ways of, of riding. Yeah, I'm not. 
I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure if at the state level, if we've had any discussions or not just stuff for any other communities, um, because I think that they're a growing force, obviously. And, and that's that could be possible income for the, the state. I think in years past, they worried about tearing up the trails, but it's the few bad apples, I think, so to speak, that are going to ruin it. But I think it could be a very valuable revenue stream for the whole state as a whole, not just our community. If we can have that conversation at some point with the state, and what's their plan? That's because it's been open to snowmobiles for a very long time. Well, there, there's a reason why they don't want ATVs on it versus snowmobiles because the ATVs will tear up the terrain when the yeah. snow's on it. They're oh. not tearing well, up the terrain. No, and I understand. Yeah. yeah, but again, if you're patrolling, policing it, um, community in the state you might be able to help kind of yeah. settle some of that down and repairs too. But that falls on us. Yeah. Well, so after our last meeting, and that was brought up for recreational use, I have begun research on what other communities are doing. Um, in Vermont and and a you know more New England base on how they're handling situations like that. And I haven't found enough information that I'm comfortable presenting to you folks yet. But it is something that I'm working on and, and that I'd love to add Chief Still to the conversation when I have more information about it. I'll just add that those the thing is the trailers are operated by VAST, which operates its home and we don't allow anybody else on there for yeah. ATV. So that's the hard part, but certainly. Um, um you still on there? Chief, I just want to bring up up by me 105. Um, I haven't really seen you be up there, and maybe they're there, and I just don't see them, but awful lot of speeding up that way lately in the evening time. Motorcycles, sports cars, you name it. Yeah, we're we're uh, finishing up our uh, a comprehensive plan of where we're gonna be working on directive patrols. Uh, within the next week, uh, we'll be starting calculating our speed studies again in uh, those areas. Your area is one, of, is one of the top priority areas along with uh, Bushy County and, and Middle. Those are some of our highest uh, speed roads that we're looking at. Uh, you know, we're not going to neg neglect any of the roads, but we're, uh, we're going to be you know, working on that because uh, our highway safety funds are all kicked in now. So we're uh, trying to spend those as wisely as we can for the extra enforcement. So you should be seeing that within the next week or so, a lot of extra enforcement in that area. Appreciate it. Thank you. I just have one question uh, for the chief. There was a survey, a trap, I assume it was a survey, a speed survey done on Campbell Bay Road back in maybe three years ago, I'm thinking. Yeah. Was there a report printed out on that? I have a resident that asked that, me that question. There was, um, and I can re uh, I can forward you that when I get back into uh, those speed studies. I can't remember if I've got it saved digitally or if it's just in a hard copy, but I can pull that up tomorrow and uh, and get that off to you folks. Uh, we can definitely look at doing another one uh, down in that area. The problem uh, that we have with uh, that area, Tabers and Lakewood Drive right now, is that the traffic pattern is tremendous, uh, it has had a tremendous change because of COVID, because we're missing all our, our Canadian drivers uh, that add a lot of numbers uh, to that. You know, I'm not saying that they're speeding or doing anything illegal, it's just the uh, the volume of traffic is like half of what it normally is because of of that. So I don't want to put, really put a speed study in that area that's going to show a really low speed when it might not be accurate. But I'll get that one off to you hopefully tomorrow. That yeah, would I would just I would ask the question, you know, and I said I, I know there was one done, but uh, I never saw. It. Oh, I was on the board, so I don't know. I'm sure the other board members saw it. But uh, if I, if you gave us that copy, that's all really what I'm interested in right now. Yeah, I mean, the, the some of the residences we promised to do another one, and then COVID hit and kind of messed yeah. the the whole process up for yeah. us. And I agree with you. The numbers would be dramatically different in normal time compared to now, as far as traffic is concerned. All right. Okay. Anything else for the chief of your police report? Health officer report. 
So I uh, really have not a whole lot to, from the last report from the health officer. I'm still working on one specific property uh, in uh, with a, that's a trailer that uh, hopefully that's going to be rectified here real soon uh, with the uh, involvement with uh, court probate court so that we can get that property cleaned up. Uh, right. There's some legal process through the state that's been started on that. So hopefully that's going to resolve our issue. So we don't have to, as a town, take it farther for condemning the property. But, uh, and then I was just informed of a, a couple of uh, trash issues today and uh, location here in the village and in another one that I'm going to work on tomorrow for investigating. Okay. Anything else for the chief? Nope. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you. All right. Thank you. Old business. Discuss trash cans for direct path. You have that in your data. Shout out five. Yeah. <clears throat> it's what the surprising thing came up to when I went on the website and um, uh, went through the uh, yeah. final steps of figuring out the total cost. So just to clarify it, we approved twelve hundred dollars the last meeting. I went back and looked. So when David went to order them, they're seventeen hundred some dollars. It's five hundred something dollars more than what we approved. So I said, don't order them. We need to figure out what we're going to do. Um, I'm not really keen on spending seventeen hundred dollars in two trash cans. But. So if I if I may, um, I had a couple suggestions and thoughts that I threw up a couple of people where it would be. The blue barrels, or I was over at ACE this morning for a meeting and, and looking at some of the garbage barrels that potential. In the meantime, we could do. Uh, Long term, Gordon sent me some, some information that Stowe was doing. And I really like these. Uh, these are the trash receptacle with the lid, uh, plus a post, the sign, uh, the bags for dogs. Um, for three of these, 1,046, which doesn't include all the, the rolls of bags that you get. If you were to buy two of them, I think it was like two thousand bags for one hundred thirty-seven dollars. Well, we have the receptacles for the dog bags. No, I believe. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. if right. we still use them or not? The yes. Yeah. The ones that you take the bags out of. Yeah. 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 So again, yeah, I mean, yeah. just for three brand new ones and the signs and the posts and the bags and everything, mm -hmm. you're talking eleven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. You guys can take a look at it, but yeah. I just thought that was much. Cleaner than that. I mean, as a service from the community to pick up their dogs for furnishing bags, the replacements that they don't have one. Uh, there's a trash receptacle there for the trash as well. Um, I just think that's an alternative. Um, well, I did bring some information on that uh, as part of the last package. Mm -hmm. The company that makes the receptacles we have now but also makes the ground uh, bag containers that you can attach right mm -hmm. to the post. That the dog is distributing them, mm -hmm. and uh, they're not as big as a regular trash can. Mm -hmm. um, but they do connect, and they're specifically for the dog that so built. Um, so for other types of trash, you still need to get uh, well, that's some other that there is a fairly good size trash can, it's not the 33 gallon, but mm -hmm. again, at the same time. Uh, I, I hate to waste too much time yeah, on this. But, I know. Let's, let's, let's get this going. Mm -hmm. Let's get something in place. In the meantime, if you can't decide, I'll go to Mace and, and buy through things and, and put them at the gates. We've got to get something going. Here. I, I agree because it's a it's mm -hmm. it's an investment to keeping our community clean for the future. Yeah. Um, I you know I'm not sure that that's big enough. And, and I'm, not, I'm, sure, absolutely. I'm I'm down there every day, and, and I there's there's a lot of trash, and you have two really committed community members that um, have just come back from their their winter home, and they're out there every day picking up bags of trash, and and they're collecting three four shopping bags full of trash daily. I got met them the other day when they were out there. Crash that they had so and and well and, and then they've been bringing it to the wreck and I've been disposing it yeah. from them so I mean the trash is an, is a yeah. is an issue so whether we, we go with that or that or something there, there's no trash barrel there man no no all no. oh, you have no 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 nothing there used to be something they got busted years ago yeah it was a concrete one yeah they got busted up. No. 
You know, maybe three is not the number. There, there is a trash can in front of the depot museum, so that's one on mm -hmm. that end. I would really like to see one, you know, closer to Grand that's Avenue awesome. and then closer to Avenue. the school. Yeah. Because that those are kind of like the middle yeah. the middle points. So if we're not yeah. doing three, you know, two wow, two is do. maybe more of a ma more manageable cost. Mm -hmm. That's within our budget, twelve hundred. If we just do two, yep. and then leave the one that's there. Yeah, yeah. There's one over the default. Yeah. Yeah. That one there was parking lot. Is yeah. right. I didn't even notice that one the other day. Actually, it's roped to the building right on the corner of the yeah. museum. That's, a, that's an option. But I, I agree, something needs to be done. Well, that's but if you don't have any, yeah, probably a good idea to get some there. I, I would really appreciate it. It's, I think it's a, an investment. To or do we just put some trash cans out there for now? And when it comes budget time, we budget it in our budget for next year for new trash cans. Director. Hey, okay. I, I, like I was at a Ace today, and I saw the 33 gallon mm -hmm. with a lid with a hinge. Yeah. Uh, you can zip tie them and, and screw them right to the holes at mm -hmm. each gate. Yeah. It's just enough. I don't know. We yep. still have, there is a little uh, red pad that we haven't used for quite some time. I think it's at like $354 in it. Yeah. Perhaps we could use some of that one too. Just take the, take the 1200 or up that and take the 300. Yep. Let's do something. Yeah, no, we need to put the bed. So I think this is. Yeah. I mean, well, something like this, I think, is is an is an investment to keep for long term. Oh yeah, but I'm not a, I'm not opposed to. No. Well, if we spend one hundred fifty dollars on a plastic can, then we just bite the bullet and spend seventeen hundred dollars. I I'd go to seventeen. I would go to seventeen. All right. So yeah. you're sure, David? This did when you order these tomorrow. This is going to be the amount. It'll be no more. For those three. Okay. What was the lead time for delivery? And uh, highway for install. Yeah. After, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, they usually would deliver, I think, within a week of uh, I'll have to check because yeah. as if it's coming from China, it might be six months. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. They yeah. Have them. <laughs> yeah. It's a company out of Indiana. Yeah, that's three to five yeah. days. It's not a bit yeah. longer than that. Let's just go buy a couple of $30 ones and put them there. Yeah. No, we can do that too. Yeah, I'll call tomorrow. So, okay. so I need a motion then to uh, order just three trash cans for the rec trail, the total of $1,717.74. You want to add to that motion that we use the money that remains in the rec trail account? Yep. Make a uh, yep. To be used toward okay. that. Sounds good to me. All right. Did you get all that down? Okay, I made both. I'll second it. motion and second. <laughs> Any other discussion? Thank you. All in favor, signify with C and I. Aye. All right, close. All right. Trash cans will be ordered tomorrow. Else. Everybody knows that. We'll take back. <laughs> Done. We're going to what talk over the trash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, now we're going to talk about alarm system. New alarm system update. David, David well, that's just, you. Uh, we have Three quotes so far. Are they in the packet or where you at? No, not yet. It's like one more I'm waiting on. So I don't want to. Yeah, three. What do we need any more for? Three's plenty. Well, early bird gets warm. Um, so you don't have to throw numbers out here, but you said one, somebody's $300 cheaper than the normal guy we use. Right. Um, so is there, there any, is there any cons with that? What's that? It's $300 cheaper, but what are the cons to the guy that knows the system? Yeah. The is it, is the it, it's the same yeah. apples for apples? Is, is as More or less, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's all Honeywell. Yeah. Uh, I, I gave the same specs that he originally gave. The question is um, mm -hmm. if you go with the low bid, yeah. uh, it has to, uh, it would be applied to the passive grant. You have to go with the low bid, yeah. which is a different company. And um, if if you don't, then you don't get the fifty percent off of the grants that would pay for half. You have to pay for half the. Uh, but you get the same company we have now, which is has been a pretty good company mm -hmm. um, for. Well, 
kind of dollars we got. And they cover the depot and the highway department. That's the current one. The current yeah. one covers yeah. uh, depot and the highway department. Maybe cheaper is it always Oh, that's my I'm famous I'm curious to know who the, the company is, though, because we use a totally completely different company at the rec. Right. Right. They're very affordable. Yeah, you like yeah, it. Someone there, I think. said that that company was there with problems with them. Not since I've been there. Uh, yeah. Um, well, if we don't have the stuff, we can't approve it tonight. So, what am I going to do? Well, I have it right here. Yeah, you have it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you want me to read them? I can. I don't. I mean, you got three bids. I mean, right. it, was there a bid deadline or anything for anybody? No, there was, no. It was right. a phone call for a quote. Okay. Give me all three of them then. We'll get this done. Yeah, I think. So I got one bid here from Vermont Life Safety. And I think the other one. For 262035. I'm sorry, what was that? 262035. And I got a bid with, you got that? Okay. And Black Dog Electrical Services, which is who we have now, right? Yep. Yeah. There's a $2,209. And this one didn't itemize. It just gave it safety. Oh. Safety systems are wrong. And that's their total on the back of your name. Yeah. They're $3,973. So they need to use the ballpark. Why would we not even think about what we're talking about? Why would we use the first time? Yeah. Well, they don't need to issue it. Yeah. Well, the issue is, is that they'll give us half, they'll pay for half the money to insurance company. But, but they're a current as well, sorry. What's that? They're a current system. Now. They're they're black dogs are a current company. Yeah. But uh, do we have money in our budget to upgrade our system? Yeah. Then I say just go with black dog. Yeah, if that's what's gonna come down to. Uh, they they've been great to us. They anytime we need something right here. So all right. I'll hear a motion to approve twenty two hundred and nine dollars to have black dog uh electrical service install new security system for the town hall. I'll make that motion. Right. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor, senior vote, say aye. 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 Okay. Done with Donald Walden. Now, Facebook update. We got anything on that? I have not been able to get to that yet. That's nice one. But I will start working on it as of next week. All right. We'll come back to that next meeting. Uh, roll payment bid update. Uh, we put the roads out to bed and they're due by the first meeting before the first meeting. June 1st. June 1st. Okay. Um, so we'll see where the numbers come back at. Did you hear anything on the, the state money? No. Nothing? You no, I left a message. Yeah. Didn't go there. Okay. I haven't heard from you. All you right. probably won't hear nothing right up to the end. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So, um, interfaith heat update. Did you have something on that, David? Yeah. Um, Do you want to talk about that in second session or you want to talk about that? Well, yes, yeah, I guess it's a good deal. Yeah. Well, you can't talk to me yet. I know. Maybe you're here for that. I'm just kidding. I was getting there. <laughs> Here's your map. Yeah, I think uh, Tanya probably know this thing. Um, it's a a little over five acre parcel. Okay. Landlocked. It's abutting the school property. It doesn't uh, abut the town garage property. Which no. You can see that from the bottom. Yeah. Side. So this is the property right, right. here. Yeah. Which borders MU, just like you said. Yeah. Our garage is right here. Yeah. yeah. And um, so, so it, it abuts Ralph's property, which is all this, I believe. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And also the school property. Yeah. So. Uh, and it looked like uh, Jim and Pratt and I yeah. looked on an aerial photograph of that place, and it looks like the school's already using it. I'm sure so that's what school about. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, I emailed uh, Don Collins, and I don't know if he's on tonight or not, but uh, yeah, he's on the school board. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just asked if, if they would uh, be interested. Jim mm -hmm. didn't think they would, he said it's a lot of red tape for the school to buy something for land, real estate. Yeah. And um, but uh, Don can certainly bring it up to the board and see if, if they want to make it permanent uh, addition to their property. 
Well, it's still yeah. going for tax sale. Yeah, yeah so somebody's got to buy it. There's no tax sale. So yeah, you well, buy it back. Or... The problem is it's landlocked. Uh, I guess. Right well, now, it's not really landlocked because it borders the school. I mean, to, for us it is, but it's not for them. Oh, no. Yeah. Or the Rowles or whoever is going to land yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, did Debbie say she had any problems or issues with that? Well, I don't think so. The tax sale is tomorrow. It's going up for tax sale. It is tomorrow. You say it, yeah. Yeah, it was on the 6th. 6th. Oh, yeah. 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 So we need to decide whether we're going to buy it back or we're going to. I don't, I don't see any difference. That's just me. What's that? I don't see any interest in that. Is it town buying it? Other than the town buying it, trying to sell it. Well, we're not going to sell it. That's the problem. It's, it's useless to us. But the problem is, nobody knows. It's, there's nothing there. There's this group is bomb. So they, we just keep wasting time and money putting up for tax sale that, you know, maybe if we bought it back. We own it. Maybe the, the school would pay uh, us what we had. But that's you know, I'm a little surprised that uh, you know, somebody from the school district isn't involved in this. Yeah. Because MBU would definitely have been using that property right now. Well, yeah. If they're using it. Yeah. Uh, this would be a way to clean it up. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. probably the simplest thing would be for the town to buy it back and then feed it to MBU. Mm -hmm. So yeah. then they don't have to go through all their red tape. No. You know, basically yeah. all the board could approve that. I'm sure it would be. I don't think it'd be anything illegal or against yeah. the statute to that. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Uh, you know, I mean that's probably the, the best use for that property right now. The town, and, and the town is going to lose any money out of by buying it back. We're not getting any money in this, yeah. and no one's going to buy it. But I don't know if somebody did. I mean, one of those that worst case scenarios, you know, yeah. somebody can buy that property and yeah. say, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and you know, that may not be what would be that for the school, yeah. even though it may never happen, but they may put pressure on it. Mm -hmm. And then all the taxpayers are going to have to kick in. Yeah. So I don't know. Half another one or the other. Mm -hmm. I don't. Maybe there's people that are interested in buying at the tax sale tomorrow uh, on the sixth, whatever. Yeah, I guess we can wait and find out then. Yeah, I guess we're out to make a decision. Yeah, whether we want to participate in it or not. Exactly. Right. Yep. I guess. Yeah, well, the tax sale. Yeah, I think he's on getting taxed every year and the tax sale. Yeah, that, that's what happened. That's what I said. You're, 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 you're just spinning your wheels. You know yeah. what I mean? You must just put it to bed and be done with it. We're never going to get nothing out of it. It's not. I'm looking for this. Yeah, here it is. Right here. Well, I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't say it's not a possibility to get something out of it, but no. is that really the right thing to do? So, can I see that? It's a town. Yeah. Thank you. So, you know, is that the only. Wait for the town to take over that property and we tax all of them and then all like abandoned unit. And you would and it's a no, that's long. a that's a long, yeah. long yeah. process. Okay. But you, even if it, you went that way, it still has yeah. back taxes. So exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you I was looking to see I got it where you um, it. Because the problem with the property is to try and find someone you can't find them and have anything to do with that to pay for all yeah. So, and it's still a possible property, and we have no way to touch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's going to be nobody when that year period gets over. Right. Nobody's going to come in. <laughs> and the only person that, or the only uh, intendee, whatever you want to call it, that can come in and buy it is the person that's actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah and there's not even anybody right. left in the association. Right. Anymore. So, then more than likely after that period, that year is over, then you go ahead and, and we're not going to get nothing out of it. Right. You can beat it. James, where exactly is it? I can't picture it. Where, where exactly is the property? Well, if you there where the town garage is, out behind there, but where the school comes in on that side, if you can picture that. Or remember where the religious building was at MBU? Well, sure. I, I didn't go to that much, Mark. Sorry. 
<laughs> and you went in the driveway to have the garden, and then you took that driveway that goes around to the left before you get to the front of the school. Okay. Off to that side on the left right here in the woods. Oh, yeah. Can you yeah. see that map at all? Yeah, I can see it on there. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. So, yes. On one side, you can see the school borders there right here. The high school is right here. Yeah. And that property is right here. And the main road is where? Up? Way up, up to the top. You see the other yellow highlighted? That's the town garage. So it's all up. Oh, yeah. So, so the, the access is through MVU. Or so the only, the only access is through MVU? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. But MVU, I believe, is probably already using yeah. some of that property you know, where the lawn is. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it makes sense just to get it straight out and make it happen. There's $12,699.53 of our cash. So, so if you want. it's just going to keep going around and around circles because there's no one there. There's no one to claim it. And there's no one to. It's no value to anybody other than a budding landowner because right. it it's you can't buy it and do nothing. You have no right away. There's no need right away. So can, can the association, whoever owns it or anyone, can they donate no, it? No, there's not even anybody left in the association. There's nobody there to go back to that. It's been like this for a while. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? Yeah, okay, the town decided to buy it. Would, would the town have to go to the tax sale to do it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they would have to be represented there for the town. We'd have to vote for someone to represent yeah. the town. Yeah. Is there a little paddle that you hold up? Like no, it's not like you that. Number. <laughs> I will yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you want? I'm I'm willing to move that the town at least participate in the tax sale yeah. up to the amount that is due, right? Right. They yeah. start with the amount that's due. Someone yeah. if someone really wants it, they can exactly. If someone else is here to bid on it, right? Yeah. The minimum bid usually is the that's what Betty told me. The minimum bid is the amount yeah. due. Yeah. Taxes yeah. due the cost yeah. for this tax sale. Yeah. So it's somewhere around the twelve thousand something just said. So the only fee that the town will end up paying is the tax collector. Well, the, the yeah. attorney, the because it's a publication, yeah. Okay. so yeah. the expenses yeah. of the publication, the tax sale, the attorney. It is. Yeah. Then whatever goes the tax book. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's all included that money. It's all, all yeah. included. It's all included that again, the rest of it is just a wash. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. That's all it is. Yeah. That's why I said. So, how, do you have a any? How much we are? We would have to come up with. It is uh, well, it's about 12,000. 12, yeah, but I mean, how much do we actually have to pay out after it? You know, for the it would be that so what's going to happen is we're going to pay well, before we go, the town buys it, yeah, for the amount that's owed. What's going to be deducted from the amount that the town pays is the attorney fees, uh, yeah, public yeah, actually, it says right here. Uh, I think legal fees is six hundred and fifty-five dollars fifty cents. Title search is three hundred and twenty-seven and change. Uh, certified mail nine dollars. Certified mail two seven dollars. Publication for the papers fifty-seven thirty-nine. That's all the fees it says. All right, but that, that yeah. yeah, but there is a percentage of yeah. that the tax book to get. Right, yeah. and then there's yeah. oh yeah, it's probably the, the interest percent. right here. Okay, well, they, yeah. They, <coughs> interest is what we will get. Yeah. Because we get principal and interest. Right. Mm -hmm. Tax property gets the yeah. penalty. Yeah. What is that? It's only one percent, isn't it? Well, the it's actually ends up being the interest ends up being about twelve percent because it's one and one percent is first one and one and a half each month after, so mm -hmm. it ends up being twelve percent interest. Which the county gets that interest. So that's the cost of attorney fees, the publication fees. Yeah, yeah so just right. it off. I can't see it losing more than a couple thousand on the deal. No. It yeah. says on here if you want to read it, there's some something wrong in percentages. Well, I'm, I'm making a motion and that okay. we, the town, participate in the sale up to what is. Yep. 
hold the day. Oh, for the cap back taxes. Yeah, because it might be a few dollars more than it is that day because of the interest. So. Right. Yeah. Whatever it is, hold the day on for the length like of that. Yeah. All right. Don't want to second that. I'll second it. All right. Any other discussion? Um, are we going to, we probably should add whoever's going to go to the auction here to make oh, that decision. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, what, what is it? Tax sale, whatever. Tax sale. Yeah. What time was it? It's two o'clock on Thursday. May 6th at 2 p.m. at the Collins. Yeah, Collins. No, it's complex. It was complex. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I could be working at the problem. Yeah. What about Dave? Are you like, would you be available third? What? Uh, yeah, this Thursday. Yeah, this yeah. Thursday at two o'clock. Yeah, we can have you do it. Oh, yeah, that's what you So, yeah, unless yeah, one of you guys. Right. Right. What's that? And if you're there, you need to call me. You call me on the phone. So mm -hmm. I just I oh, really sure. can't have the time to, to take care of it. I mean, we're we're, yeah. 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 we're only going to get it. Nobody else wants it. Mm -hmm. Somebody else wants it. Yeah, uh, we'll take it. Yep. You know, yeah. Yep. We'll get that off the books in court. You can't, yeah. spend, you can't spend one more cent than what we have there. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah that's cool. So, uh, <laughs> no, I have to do what can be. All right. So, you get it. Earl's motion also is to have David go to yeah, the seal. Have David uh, represent the camp. Okay. David, you'll have to take a check with you because you have to pay that day. Yeah, I'll fill it out. Yeah. Okay, we got that. That's first, second. Any other discussion? All in favor, see if I have a C and I. Aye. 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 have it. Okay, Fourth Street. Uh, the Fourth Street Committee has met twice. Okay. Uh, message from our chair, co chair. The Fourth Street Committee has met twice. Uh, they've done a walking tour of the Fourth Street property as well as the Fit and Healthy Path and the Memorial Valley Rail Trail to see how we all can benefit from the recreational corridor. Um, they've formed two subcommittees for one for input assessment and other for funding for the project. Um, and they're working on planning a community input forum in July for the Fourth Street property to happen on that property with a virtual component. That's uh, their update for now. Good. They're working on the uh, rail trail head, right? They're working on the fourth street property. Yeah, but they're not doing as much. Is there any signs there? Or anything? Uh, they're working good. In, other individuals are working on signage for yeah. the, the rail trail head. Mm -hmm. That is in motion as well. Okay, anything so else? We, we have been very busy. Yeah. 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 And else, new Zoom login. New business. Well, I just want to make sure yeah. everyone who's been attending the meetings by Zoom knows that the address has changed, that we need okay. to log in, and it, it'll be on every agenda as it was tonight. All right, and it's on the website, Cal website. Yeah, also okay. on the website. I just want to make sure it's only going to go back and use mm -hmm. one thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. And discuss 2021 Memorial Day Parade. Uh, so uh, Adam Axman, uh, Joel Clark, and myself met uh, previously. We talked about the, the Memorial Day Parade uh, for this year. Uh, we are going uh, forward with it. Uh, um, we are also start talking the discussion of putting the flags up the Saturday before, which is the 29th, and taking it down the 5th of June. Um, so we we'll hopefully to get that information out there. The flyer is is out and about, I believe, already. Uh, for the Memorial Day Parade. Uh, letters are going out to, to chamber businesses or in anybody that is interested in being in the parade from the schools to the armory, so on and so forth. Uh, we think it's obviously a, a great cause every year. We seem to get more traction every year, uh, bigger and better. Uh, I'm working with the DFW as well. So uh, the parade is on. Again, we just got to make sure we have the committee to get the flags up as we did uh, in Veterans Day. So. And you're looking to put those out the 29th, you said? 29th is a Saturday, I believe, and then taking them down the, the following Saturday. Yeah. Uh, okay. At what time Supplies, do you yeah. plan? Because I can certainly. We haven't finalized that yet, mm -hmm. um, but we usually start about eight and nine in the morning, somewhere near yeah. last time we did. Yeah. 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 And the parades start oh. at 2 30. Uh, I need is having a parade, so we want to make sure 
whether they were or weren't uh, before we finalize the time, but the time will continue to be at 2 30. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we uh, will start at the same day, though, is it? Same day. We do same it after. Yep. Yep. Okay. James, I think yep. just to clarify it for the passive insurance coverage, yep. that the board should probably, since some mark is on both in the chamber and the board, uh, afford, uh, I mean, appoint him to be the official talent rep to okay. sponsor the uh, right to, yep. in order to make sure the insurance and I did uh, is covered. Yeah, they bring that up, did bring up the meeting and, and okay. the volunteers sign the waivers and so on. Right. Yeah, yeah. But okay. if you could have been well, I make a motion. motion. Yep. All right. I entertain a motion to appoint Mark as the parade director, basically, I guess, right? I will take that motion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Had it. Thank you, Mark. Uh, C. Discuss flags for the next and traditional sponsorship. Uh, yeah, I put some information in the packet. Yep. That the end. On uh, the cost went up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and last year they were ten dollars cheaper each. Yeah, of course. And so uh, everything's gone up over mm -hmm. the past year. So yeah. uh, you can see the total there is twenty four something, yeah. twenty four forty of them. That's a, yeah. the, the cheapest rate is the uh, fifty eight ninety nine each plus yeah. the uh, shipping. Um, and we, uh, what I would recommend this year is if you both to get 40 more yeah is that the uh the sponsor should be up uh graded to 60 dollars mm -hmm. to, to cover the cost yeah. that just about breaks in there uh, well i wanted i wanted to discuss it so i put it on here because i know we got 51 through whatever we have now a lot of people have asked about buying more i know it's a lot of work to put them up i, I certainly do and I, I understand that it's our um hard to find help to, to get it done I have people knocking at my door for volunteer hours. Mm -hmm. I'm certainly willing to yeah. put all efforts in and trying to recruit mm -hmm. as many people yeah. as possible. I mean, it worked great last fall. We had nobody were going to do it. And we, we put the word out and the army came. You know? I think the one worry, the one worry that I have mm -hmm. yeah. is the layout. Yeah. How many more, as you see, mm -hmm. we're pushing the backside of that part. Yeah. yeah. Where, where do you go? Sideways, 40 more. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, almost well, all. Yeah. When I was thinking, yeah, we have 110. We have 110 right now. Yeah, 110 right now. Right. You're oh, there is a guy on the wife off. Yeah, 110. Still, you're talking almost a third more. Yeah. Yeah. But if you look at it, uh, you go on <laughs> 20 on that side, what the existing formation mm -hmm. that should fit in there because there's still open there. space yeah. on both sides. That would probably stretch it to the limits yeah. because beyond that, you get more trees. Yes, we're over. I really think we need to look at it first because yeah. I, I just worry we run into the trees, we run into the stump, the big yeah. trees, yeah. the little trees. Where are the fives in the flap? And I, I'm not shooting yeah. it down. Uh, I think we got better at managing it, mm -hmm. but I just hate to see these things getting caught up in the trees and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Yeah. That's my only my only worry. Uh, all due respect, yeah. if we want it, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Once you continue to have this for, I just yeah, because David has a list of people tally, right? Oh, yeah. You get about I, 15 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there is some under 10. Yeah, I know, but a list of people have asked about to do it closer. Oh, they are more that people are interested in buying. Something. How many is your list? Uh, right now, it's, it's not very big, but it's uh, more people have told me they're interested in yeah. actually signing up for it. But uh, it's only like three or four right now. But we had calls, but we were under the impression that we weren't doing it. So we had told people that we weren't doing it. We have received calls that okay. we have the options. How many are already? Do you remember? Uh, 22. Five rows. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. Yeah. 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 And if you put 20 on each side of like a T, mm -hmm. um, those should fit in there in the space that's left on both sides. Uh, because uh, 20, uh, if you put um, Let's see, even four rows and five each on each side, that should be in, in, in there. The problem right now is the time. Yeah, I know. We're you have to order those, yeah. you have to be delivered, and then you have to do yeah. ever I don't think you and no, uh, no, get no, no, no people no. to participate. That's yeah. tight. That's cutting it for only a few weeks. Yeah. 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 Maybe we could plan on changing it for Veterans Day if we wanted to add more. Um, there's a lot of interest. Um, the only thing, by veterans, you might maybe it'd be good to order them now. 
Um, yeah. The cost could be less by yeah. another six months. Yeah, exactly. Um, so maybe look at the layout when you put them out for yeah. Memorial Day. That's see kind of what I was thinking. Ones see ones if we could add more. We're definitely running out of trees. Yeah. Let's yeah. do that then. Let's wait and see what it looks like when we get it set up again this year. We can, you can almost count exactly how many more yep. you're going to get. See what yeah. else you can fit, and then that'll give us time by time to get And if you continue um, to get calls, and we put them up, take the name. Take the name and number. Yep. Yep, I would suggest that. Oh, we get them ordered by the 1st of June. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. meeting after. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you, um, that would get plenty of time for everything to be with Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. And I'm it? certainly willing to help with yeah. outreach as far as yeah. looking I don't, for I don't think there'd be a problem. So we did the whole thing an hour and a half last week. Oh, yeah. I was great. Right. Why are we doing that? But we need yeah. to un attract any more sponsors because yeah. people were almost crying when we got yeah. to tell them that it was so loud. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because they wanted so badly mm -hmm. to. Honored one of the veterans. Yeah. And uh, like Kathy said, we weren't making a big list because yeah. the board at that time said yeah. 100 tenants. So we can put it out once we know that from okay. all the day okay, put them up, we know. Yep. We can start start that yeah, process. Figure out where we can fit. Okay. So, so you want me to order these now and have them on uh, hand and then start advertising after Memorial Day? Yeah. Well, we, we, we're only talking three more weeks. But I don't think. But if you buy them, you're committing. Well, that's it. Well, and then we don't know if we got space. If we buy four, yeah, you have space. I see. We I see. We. It's you not know, maybe that big a deal. That's too good. Yeah, it seems like everybody's more comfortable waiting to see them up here. But I, I do think they're doing for myself. Yeah. But I maybe, maybe not when they're all up there. But yeah, yeah that's that's what we'll wait till our first meeting in June. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see that then. Okay. Oh, look back on the agenda. Yeah. 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 First meeting in June. We'll know. Yeah. yeah. First meeting in June. Do you have, have we set a date, a time that we're going to put the flags up? No, yeah. it'll just be this. Yeah, the 28th, well, the 29th. At nine. Yeah. All right. So we'll put it out there officially then. So May 29th, nine o'clock. I'll put that on the website. Here at the uh, Chow Hall or in the park. It'll be somewhere yeah. to. Oh, if you go to town hall to help us take them down. Yeah, to help, help bring them out. And uh, we certainly get the word out to use all help we can get. And they will go that time. Just double check the name tags and all that. Make sure they're good. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, make sure we're all set all ahead of time. Um, you know, someone can reach out to the Boy Scouts, too. Yeah, I work on that. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. yeah you got it? All right. Because, well, okay. we worked, we worked with us and Andrew. Yeah, I think Andrew's over too. So Andrew, we got. Um, uh, okay, talk about I think we talked. I think my wife will hold Sarah Lee camera. Okay, she was the last time. So. Just, yeah. just let me know because that was part of my list with Adam and Mike, uh, Joe Riley. I'll have my wife send her a message. She's better. Okay, so, so. so they did the last time. Yeah, you know, with the Aaron team. So, all right. Uh, yeah. Even before that, ask about the Memorial Day parade. If you're interested in being in yeah. it, then okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Certainly. Okay, and what was what time was that? Two thirty. Assembly at Swan at Mary Babcock. The meeting at two thirty at the back. It leaves at two thirty. It leaves at two thirty. So two o'clock or whatever. Yeah. Uh, the information is listed on the chamber Facebook. Okay. So perfect. Uh, D Rack. Yeah, okay. I am very excited to finally be able to announce that we have hired Tagney Brigham as the athletic operations director at the rec department. He has started Monday and he has hit the ground running. Um, we are very busy and active with Little League. Um, and boy, is it so fun to see all those smiling faces out there. He is a um, native Vermonter, grew up in Bakersfield, attended Enosburg Falls High. He's passionate um, about athletics, most specifically baseball, so he couldn't have picked a better time to join the team. Um, and he uh, looks forward to becoming a huge asset to the community. Currently, he lives in Colchester with his wife, Ashley, um, his stepdaughter, Amaya, and they have a baby on the way in July. Um, but he is very passionate about Franklin County and fun as a community as a whole. So you're saying, is he moving here? He may look forward <laughs> to doing that. That was part of his five-year plan, but I can't say for certain. 
It's just a, it's just a commitment. I mean, the ball field, it's a long night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he is, like I said, he is with the ground running, and he is very excited to be here mm-hmm. and be a part of the team. Nice. And I look forward to introducing you yeah. all personally to him mm-hmm. and yeah. anybody yeah. in town whenever yeah. they're ready. Um, and you found some, you found some summer help helping you all more and stuff too. We are still looking yep. to hire field maintenance position mm-hmm. to be his summer helper. Yeah. Um, we are accepting applications. There's more information currently on uh, the REC Facebook page, soon to be on the REC website. Mm-hmm. Um, but anybody can feel free to call the REC office mm-hmm. at 868-2493, and I will gladly <laughs> direct them to information. Mm-hmm. Um, there are also applications on the storm door and can be dropped in the drop box. Sure. <clears throat> What are the places to help? Community economic development. That's me. Yeah, the list. Just a little bit. I won't go into a great bit of detail. I just want to okay. you kind of know what I was working on. The Marble Mill Park bike head grant application. Um, we had applied. They had a special um, small small projects. So that's not the term, but it, it will work in this instance for small projects. We were close to being funded, but they had a couple of issues with the application. So we are sure to get refunded. And what we'd like to do is just clean up the entrance to Marble Mill, um, add some crosswalks and some flashing, uh, the rapid flashing beacon crosswalks. And what it would do is at the top of the hill, if you're at the bottom of the hill, it will flash at the top of the hill. Mm-hmm. So folks coming down in the morning as you're crossing the street. Yep. Um, so it's not a it's not a huge deal, but it could make a difference um, for Marble Mill and kind of the first step in, a, in several phases to get that revitalized. The other thing is um, that part of that, because it is such a small project, and we just got the downtown scoping study draft report, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time because that's a village project, so they should probably hear about it before you do, mm-hmm. um, but I did want to tell you that that is moving forward and what we'd like to do is incorporate some of those bits from the downtown scope instead of in with the Marble Mill grant right head mm-hmm. um, and see if we can move some of those forward. But we will be presenting, there will be a pub, the final public presentation to the trustees on May 24th. Fourth. Yeah, if anybody wants to, to sit in on that. Me first, the public. There'll be much more communication about that between now and then, but that's when we'll go to the public presentation of the down down study. Um, the third annual, I believe it is, Swamp Community Wide Yard Sale. I put it up on Facebook twice because I have May, 10th, May 18th. It is not May 18th. I apologize. We Saturday, May 22nd. Um, we will have information again it's out on facebook i'll have it every place it is free for swamp residents to register their their yard sale um you we have some spaces at the village green that you can do it in front of your house and if you let me know by may 14th we'll include you on a map so people can kind of plan where they're going to do their yard sales mm-hmm. so um we will get more information out there we had a great Turnout the, the first couple of three years we did it, so hopefully we have a great turnout again. Um, and I see Chris Sweeney is here. I just wanted to give a quick update on the Heritage Walking Tour. Um, this is something a project that was started by the Historical Society. We're just kind of updating it. Um, so that's a project, and Chris is doing a great job spearheading it. I'm doing not so great job taking pictures that I need to get to her tomorrow. Um, but the idea is just to make both Swanton residents and Swanton visitors familiar with a lot of the locations, what the history of them is. Um, you know, who knew that there used to be a hotel on the side of the library and the stuff that, that may, some of us may know. But yeah, bring back the well, there you go. Um, so just those little bits and pieces that people don't know and, and, and encourage people to walk. Um, encourage visitors to, to walk around Swampton and see things. So, working on that. Um, I think that's my highlights. Okay. Um, I got one question into that. Yeah. I got a, I saw an email from Bethany the other day about them being sorry about. Uh, uh, May 20th. 
May 25th. At the next meeting. At the next the 18th. Okay. Yes. Are they are they just going to talk to us about it at the meeting? Is that the plan? They should be showing us the first set of conceptual plans. Okay. Thank you. I was out but it's not, it's just they're just showing us what's going on. We're not in a public hearing or nothing about it, right? Okay, that's what I thought. So. Yeah. Any of the markers that are for long seven eight have anything to do with it? Okay. Because they've done a lot of two work. rows of board markers, so yeah, they probably are. Okay. And it's been the trans approved. Okay. That's what we were waiting on. They, they have a, a three week comment period that they have. Yep. To, so that's what we were waiting on. So. Well, yeah, I'm not here the 18th, but you just forward that information. Well, and that's my birthday, so I was hoping to take that off too, but now that it's. I don't like it. I'm um, not taking that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't feel like you have the 19th. Uh, that's planning commission. So I'm you're, you're not going to be here the next meeting. No, I'm not going to be here the next meeting. Okay, that'll only be three of us there. It's not going to be here. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, we can still run a plan. But. So they're all coming in with one plan? Or? Yes, there's only one plan. That's what we picked. We know this will be yeah. 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 the design. The actual design, you're going to show us what it looks like. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, where are we? Going? Yeah, it's all me. Yeah, highway. Oh, I don't really want to talk. About oh boy, <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to talk about it. Uh, the truck. So it's still up at Clark's. Um, they called back last week and found a few more things wrong with it, of course. So let's, I don't have the paper in front of me, I think it was another thousand dollars. First, the when they went to change the thermostats, which was on the pole, they found the fan, the fan blade was. Not in safe shape, so they had to replace that and the fan challenge tensioner and a couple of things over there. So then it gets better than that. The try guys got it, they got it all done. They went to pick it up last Friday, yeah, last Friday, and didn't make it back home with it. Had to turn around the back because there's something wrong with it. So it's up there now. The guy I talked to the tech earlier today, supposedly it was only a clamp that had fallen off that was loose. That's what he tells me. The only thing you can find wrong with it, he never did call me back before five o'clock, but uh, well, I'll know more. Maybe they should have them bring it down. Well, that's what he said. They drove it, but they told me you drove it 25 miles after they fixed it the first time. I think they should try to pass That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, just an update on that. Um, if they're looking for somebody else to fix them, yeah, I might have to. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's a problem. Right, right. It's, it's our national. You got to deal with emissions. You got to have the proper equipment put on it to test it. Like I said, that 25 minutes will matter after all of this. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just a source of here. Yeah. Uh, uh, guys are just, I think, pretty much done picking garbage. You know, not too much Kevin today. The roads um, look much better. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's just it's amazing how much trash is out here. No, no, no. It's insane. Um, the uh, Ryan starts Monday and uh, didn't just come Monday. Uh, Mike's last week was Friday, you know, done. Um, and what about uh, Swan Hill or Ranch Hill, whatever you want to call it? Swan Hill, we haven't done anything with that. I think we're going to we're gonna work on that over the summer and come up with a plan and then that, that way we can budget for it for next year. That's the way I look at the highway guys. So. Put, put it in our plan so we got money budgeted to take care of it straightened out. And then next year, after we do that, we can pay that. We still maybe ought to go out and take a look at it. We can do that. Yeah. We can make it a, uh, one of our meetings or something or a special meeting up there. Yeah. When everyone's back in June, you know, the first meeting in June, we'll, make, we'll come up with something. Yeah. Where we're to schedule. Right. You yep. know, uh, Kevin or whoever is in charge. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. We know yep. exactly what the situation is. Yeah, exactly. And there, there's a map somewhere it's that the uh, engineer guy needs for us. I'll find it. I think I have probably a bit of what they want. They would show some boundaries and stuff. So, yep, we certainly do that. Um, I mentioned to uh, Nicole earlier that um, I didn't mention that part. The guys are going to take the sidearm mower over and put down the real trail to the bridge and back and cut the brush back along the trail. There's some sumac and stuff in there that can be mold uh, small, make it look decent. So, uh, so you're gonna clean that up in those trees that are leaning over that the beavers. We are finally, so very grateful for their help. Kindly uh, get it taken care of for the following the trails. There so. is some serious damage tonight. Oh, so appreciate really it. Really so, yeah, definitely. 
um, when you get time. And Reg sent me a message yesterday that they were over at the depot working on the light. I don't know what they got done or they got it up a lot, but they were over there yesterday. That's all you know. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, uh, we talked about paving bids already, you know, just being the first part of June. Um, the only thing I didn't add was the uh, I don't see on here, but I'll add it on the highway anyways. The window meeting last Wednesday, we had uh six contractors and one window guy that came for the thing and we're waiting on the bids. Those are gonna be due in before the next meeting, right? Maybe certainly, yeah, maybe before. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I was actually surprised that you had yeah, six people. Six. Yeah, six contractors and one window guy, which will give those guys an estimate for the windows. So, um, and he didn't have any problems. He said he could make the, get the windows for the prompt. Good. I saw the other window guys, so they couldn't make them that big. So, yeah. so we'll see where they go. Um, most of them thought that they could reuse most of the woodwork in here. So, yeah, so I said, thank you. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, any other necessary business? Other than uh, as I mentioned, I won't be here for the next meeting. Okay. I may, may zoom in, I'm not 100%, but okay. if I do, I, I just threw one thing <coughs> under here. Uh, Northwest Access TV. I've had a couple people complain they can't find our recorded meetings online. Or they're not, I don't know if they're not airing them anymore or, or what, what the deal is. That's the new YouTube channel. Yeah, on TV, I think is what the issue is. Oh, wow. They don't, they're in yeah. other towns away, but not ours. Okay, you usually on Saturday. What? Yeah, but you just yeah. let us know. Well, I thought they were on Saturday. Yeah, I think they've been on because Brian said he's watched them, but it's Yeah, probably, I don't know. They said they couldn't find them. I have a certain schedule. I usually just Google it and look at it on Zoom or on the YouTube. YouTube where they can find it. Find it somewhere. I want to see what's on here. Yeah, that's fine. Just let me know. Thank you. Correspondence in, David? Yep. Phew. Wow. We don't want to go back to any other necessary business. Absolutely. Have we heard anything back from the Art Council? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Just because of, you know, we, they were probably going to review what we had yeah. at our sure. attorney. Yep. If you, would be, you haven't heard about anything. No. Okay. No, exactly. Uh, I do have one thing I need to add here while we're right here about the uh, dog licenses. Do I need to read this, Kathy, or just? Uh, no, it's our annual letter that we send out after okay. everyone has to register by April 1st. Yep. We're giving people till June 1st. The letter's telling them to remind them to come in and register their dogs. It's yep. the, and the verbiage in there is just from the state statute, what we have yeah. in there. Yeah, we extended it long. Exactly. So. Do we need to sign this for you? Yes, you do. Okay, this is what you want to sign? Yeah. Okay. Also, just to note, on channel 1089 for Comcast, the next select board meeting viewing will be May 6th at 1230 a.m. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a listing of their yes. time okay. schedules on their website. Cool. I don't know. Yeah. Kind of late, ain't it? <laughs> uh, anything else? Where are we at? Correspondence, nothing. I took care of that. Public comment. Anybody need to say under public comment? Uh, I would love to just share um, the beautification committee is working on adopt a uh, community garden bed in the park. They're looking for people that would be interested in helping maintain uh, the flower beds in the park. Mm -hmm. They're also doing a community planting day on May 22nd. Um, the, there's information for that available on the website. Okay. Nice. That's it. So I just I'll throw one other thing just to be all well, the swans should be back in the park this week or this weekend. The water's in. I've been keeping it clean. Okay. Uh, again, I thank her uh, TDI. Uh, Huge, huge uh, asset to take the swans and he even built a building, a fencing area. A tremendous, tremendous uh, nice. thank, thank for him for doing that. So, yeah. so they should be in this weekend. Well, thank you. All right. Upcoming events select board meeting Tuesday, May 18th, 7 p.m. for the public by Zoom. Planning Commission meeting Wednesday, May 19th, 6 p.m. by Zoom for the public. Next DRB meeting is Thursday, May 27th at 6 p.m. for the public by Zoom. Monday, May 31st, Memorial Day, offices down operations will be closed. Executive session, anyone else? Whoop.
Did I forget them? Sorry. Um, yep. So May 18th should be my last official meeting sitting behind the computer. No, you're not going anywhere. So, so I'll be training hopefully. Yeah. Then. So thank you. Okay. We did put that out with Paper Day. Yes, it's out because it's Yeah. And on the East. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you for your you service. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate okay. it. Okay, so I'll have to tell them to lose the meeting in a month or so. Technical difficulties. Yeah, we'll talk about that after. But, uh, all right, I'll hear more from the executive session for legal. I move that we find that we enter an executive session to collect more than the confidential uh, legal information, which is premature disclosure of it to the general public. We'll clearly place the select for another that of substantial disadvantage. I will second that motion. All right. All in favor, see the public saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. So I read the second part. I move that based on the just made findings that premature disclosure would place the select board and others at a substantial disadvantage, we enter executive session. I'll second that. All in favor, see the public saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Now in executive aye. session. Aye. Your motion to come out of executive session. I'll make that motion to exact, uh, exit executive session at 845. We'll second that. All right. All in favor, senior focus, say aye. Aye. Opposed. All right. We're going to have a regular meeting. Action taken. We are going to have um, we have a legal motion. opinion on. Okay. I'll make a motion on that. Action I'm going to be taken. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I good. move that uh, we have our attorney review. The zoning issue brought to us yep. during executive session by the zoning administrator. Perfect. You second? I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor, seeing the vote, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Set. Ayes have it. All in favor, motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn the uh, select board meeting at 846. I'll second it. All right. Any other discussion? All in favor, seeing the vote, say aye. 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 Opposed? Let's have it. Yay. Good night, Gordon. Good night, all.